Matteo, welcome to the club. How does it feel to become a Manchester City player? Thank you very much for the, for the welcome. It feels amazing. All the people around here welcome me very nice. So I feel already part of, of it and very nice to be at such a big club, a club that has won a lot in the recent years and can't wait to get started. What are your initial thoughts on the club itself and the squad you'll be joining? I'm amazing. I'm joining the current Champions League winners, uh, Premier League uh, winners. So it's, it's an amazing team which, uh, with, with amazing players, a great coach. And you can see from the first impressions when I came here that it's a huge, a big club and it's really a pleasure uh, to be part of it. Is there anyone in the current squad that you know well and did you speak to anyone before making the switch to the club? Not really, not really. I'm completely new, so I always I know them all from playing against them. But uh, it will be a pleasure to meet them and really we're excited to, to play with such big players and players that have won a lot during their career, so a huge excitement for me. How big of an influence was playing under Pep Guardiola to you for, for making this move? Uh, one of the biggest things. Uh, I came here to, to this great club with an amazing uh, manager. To, to learn and to improve my, my, my understanding of football and to try to be the best version of myself. So it was a huge part, of course, and like I said before as well, it's a huge, huge pleasure to, to be here and to try to improve and learn. You touched on it there on wanting to improve, but is there similarities between the way you like to play your football and the way City play football currently? I think so. I think so. Um, Always when I watch City, it's, it's, it's a pleasure to watch them, how they, how they play and it's so tough to play against them. It's probably the, the worst uh, opponent to play against because uh, amazing skills on the, balls and on the ball and how they play, it's, it's just beautiful to watch and uh, I'm now a part of it and uh, I can't wait to, to, like I said, to learn, improve and give my best to, to, to play under, under their style. Control and possession are key attributes of Pep's sides and that's a quality you've been praised for in the past. Is that something you tend to enjoy about your game? Yes, yes, of course, to enjoy and to improve it even more. I think there is always room for, for improvement and when you are in such, a, such an amazing squad that tends to, to have the ball a lot and, and to play and to, to keep the ball all the time, you can improve a lot. So, so that's my aim, to, to improve, to learn and uh, win, obviously, trophies with, with City. You touched on it a little bit earlier that you faced City on, a, on occasion in your career. Can you tell us what it's like facing this team and why you think it's been so set, successful over the past few years? It's difficult to explain, but just the composure on the ball and the, the willingness to, 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 to try to push all the time is just incredible. And the way the, the standards, they put the standards, it's, it's so high and to do it consistent, I think, uh, it's not just that they play this style two, three games, it's throughout the whole season, which is for me the most impressive thing, the, the consistency of this team and uh, it's, it's, it's quite incredible. How are you viewing the friendly battle for places in terms of the competition in the squad? I think it's normal, so it will be a huge pleasure to play with, with these midfielders, uh, one of the best in the world. I played against Rodri now, an amazing player, De Bruyne, Bernardo Silva is really when you watch the names, it's, it's a pleasure to, to be here and uh, to play with them. So I can't wait to, to try to do my best with them on the pitch. You can play in a variety of positions in central midfield. Where do you feel the most comfortable? And is it a question of being flexible about how you play or where you play? Most comfortable, I feel, on the left side of the midfield. But then in the end, it's always the manager who decides uh, where do you play. So I think I'm quite flexible. But uh, for sure, he will, he will tell me what he wants from me. And this is what, what I want to, to learn and to improve even my, my skills to be, to be a better player. In your illustrious career so far, you've played under some great coaches, Roberto Mancini, Zinedine Zidane and Thomas Tuchel, to, to name a few. What was it like playing under them and what have you learned from them to bring your, your game to City? Amazing. From each uh, coach, I learned, I learned a lot. Uh, especially from, from Tuchel at, my, at, at Chelsea, so I learned a lot from him and I think now came, came the time where I can learn from, from the best and uh, I'm at, an, at the right age where I'm 
um, I have a family and I'm, I'm now 29 years old, so I think it's the perfect timing to come to such a big club with, with such an amazing manager. You touched on there with your family and making this move. Why City? Why this place in, in England? I think uh, uh, City is just uh, at the time the best uh, club in Europe. And uh, when, I, when I heard that it, they, they want me, it's uh, a huge recognition for, for my game and a huge pleasure that such a big club wants you. And as soon as I heard it, of course, to play under under, under Pep Guardiola and under, with this great team, I, there was no doubt for me that if it, if it is possible, I would like, I would like to, to be here. You first faced City in the 2016 Champions League semi-final. I think it was a 1-0 win for Real Madrid yeah. that day. What are your memories from that game? That it was a tough game and I remember I came on, I think, in the 75th minute and Aguero had a good chance in the, in the last minute. So. Uh, at that time as well, City was already uh, uh, a team that you wanted to avoid in, in the Champions League. So, and uh, from there on, they improved a lot and I think they, they deserved uh, the Champions League trophy that, that they were looking for. As you touched on there, it's 2016 and up to now, how have you sort of mapped the progression of City from that point? You touched on there, say, already a, a great team, but how do they compare now? But now it's just, like I said before, the mentality and the, the, mentality and the consistency. I think the, the most difficult thing in football is the, the consistency and if one team has, has it, it's, it's Manchester City. Um, every year fighting for all titles until the end and uh, that's just an, an incredible start. And now uh, they won also the Champions League, so I think that's even more for a, a big boost for, for the conference of the club and it's just uh, an amazing thing that, that I'm now part of it. You have an incredible collection of winners' medals. We can see it behind you on the on the graphic. Does that make you feel proud? But I can imagine there's still a hunger for for more there. Always, always. I think in football, uh, what was yesterday was yesterday, and we need to look at what is today and tomorrow. So uh, I enjoyed uh, nice years at my previous clubs, and but now it's time to turn a new page and and to win. And I think City is the perfect club where you can win a lot, and I will do my best to. To, to try to win every year because this is the most important thing in football in the end, to, to collect trophies. Our success in recent years has meant that you've just missed out on a Premier League title. Is that the trophy that you're craving the most that you want to win? Yes, yes. I think <laughs> it's, it's also the most difficult uh, title because, like I told before, the consistency uh, to play 38 games in the Premier League is not easy and City has done it in the last years in an incredible way. So this is a trophy. I, I would obviously like to win, but uh, for me now it's first to enjoy this, this great moment with, with my family and then uh, be ready for, for a great pre-season. We're going for a historic four titles in a row. No other team has managed to do that. How difficult is that challenge going to be to do it and what do you think we need to do to, to make sure we remain on top next season? I think they need to teach me what, what I need to do <laughs> to, to, to win with them. So. Um, uh, this team knows how to win. They, they win uh, uh, a lot in the recent years, so uh, I just want to, to put myself in there and to have the same mentality to, to try to improve every day and in the end uh, to win titles. It's an, another example of you playing at the highest level. What have you learned from playing at elite football for, for so many years, do you think? Yeah, I've played in, in, in big clubs in different countries, so. Uh, it's, it's a huge pleasure to be at uh, such big clubs and I've just learned that day-to-day uh, -day training is the most important to, to be ready for each training uh, 100% and this is what I want to, to be here as well, to, to, to be the best version of myself. But uh, I think, like I said before, I have a lot of room for improvement and to learn. So this is also a, a, a big thing that I'm here. And finally, you've got a bit of a break now for the summer. But what are you looking forward to most when you come back for pre-season? Yeah, I have now a break, but I can't wait to, to start because uh, it's a new challenge for me, a new excitement. So I just want to be, to be ready to, to start with, with, with the boys and uh, uh, got, got to know them and just integrate myself with, with them and uh, just keep, uh, keep winning games and uh, try my best. Matteo, thank you for your time today and once again, welcome to Manchester City. Thank you very much.